Welcome back to another episode of Pixel Art News. After last time we looked at a ton of games at Pixelated Festival. Today we're gonna go back, do another chill episode with a lot of wholesome games, starting with Cadbo. Look at this cuteness. Cadbo is a cute, casual and fast-paced arcade pinball game using combo to increase feelings with cats. Well, there I was thinking I'm the only one thinking pinball games are cool. I'm glad I'm not alone. So if you like cats, if you like pinball, if you like cozy stuff, you don't even have to wait that long because Cadbo is coming out tomorrow in a few hours. From cats to frogs. Yes, 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 we are staying in the animal kingdom. Frog world venturing to the depths of the swamp as an adorable frog. Grapple, swing, jump and swim to complete a secret quest in this short side-scrolling adventure. I just love all these green colors, analogous colors, you could even call it monochrome at this point. Just works so well. I always love sneaking in frog games into these episodes for my friends. And if you too like frogs, well, on Wednesday is when you can get Frog World. More animals, you say? Well, here is Bernard. Bernard? Bernard. Collect cards and use them in tactical turn-based battles across various biomes. Master the physics to defeat enemies and solve environmental puzzles. I like this little twist that the battles are turn-based with little cards. Never seen that in a platformer done this way. Quite cool idea. You can give the demo a go right now or wait until the game comes out tomorrow. What a wonderful time. And another wholesome game that you can try out a demo and is coming out next week. It's Gordlets, an easygoing sandbox game about building towns for cute vegetable folks. Create your perfect community, then watch as the Gordlets make themselves at home. No objectives, no points, just good vibes. Play in full screen or let your Gordlets hang out at the bottom of your screen. It's a lovely trend of games where you just create a little environment like summer house and just see what happens. Just enjoy, just vibe, chill. Perfect thing for this hot summer weather up here in the Northern Hemisphere. Enjoy it next week. And now to new releases I could not, not mention. Pixel Art Academy Learn Mode just came out on Monday. Learn how to drop pixel art with a video game, start from zero and develop real art skills in a relaxing way. Complete interactive tutorials, drop pixel art sprites and play the games you create. The developer says everyone can do this and I agree because I am the developer in case you didn't know on which channel you are watching this so I'm very happy I finally got this game out into early access but I've been talking about it all this time so I'm not gonna spend any more time talking about it. All I will say this time it is that it has very positive reviews which makes me wonderfully happy and if you want to try pixel art a go as well you can get it for about 11 euros for Windows and Mac. And from very positive to overwhelmingly positive games, Kitsune Tales has finally come out at the start of August and oh boy, everybody loves it. Run, jump and dash across a land inspired by Japanese mythology and untangle the love triangle between three young women on a journey of self-discovery. Explore the complicated relationships between Kitsune and humans through classic platforming action. Eniko Fox really knows what she's doing. Wonderful, wonderful developer and I'm so happy to see Kitsune Tales doing so well. And if you want to play it yourself, you can do it for 12 euros for Windows and Linux. Unfortunately, the wholesome games end here as we look at Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit. Survive five nights of terror in this chilling adventure game. Travel between time periods to solve puzzles, gather clues and outrun the threat relentlessly pursuing you. Move swiftly and stay hidden and you may just survive. But be careful, it's not just your own life that's on the line this time. Well, one thing for certain, just like Kitsune Tales, this is an overwhelmingly positive game. Everybody that's into the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise will probably have a lot of fun with this one. You can get it for 20 euros for Windows. 
and we're going to close today's episode with a very creative game smack studio which is a sandbox fighting game with built-in creation tools to create characters and stages you can animate pixel art characters using their 3d pixel art rotation technology and then battle with up to eight players you can even use the tools to export sprites for your own projects the game just came out out about a year of early access and yeah people love it i just like games that allow you to express your creativity so if you're into the fighting genre and you want to try your hand at making your own little brawler thingies for 12 and a half euros you can do that for windows